Hey friends, welcome back. It is blackberry season here in Oregon. So we have been picking tons and tons of blackberries from our property here. And of course, I've been trying to find new and exciting ways to use them in different recipes. And recently I also purchased a Costco pack of goat cheese. And so of course I had the idea, the combination of goat cheese and blackberry sounds really good. And that led me to Pinterest where I searched the combination of blackberries and goat cheese and got some incredible incredible ideas. So I have three ideas that I'm going to be doing in this video today. Hopefully they will all pan out, but with the combination of blackberries and goat cheese, I don't think I can go too wrong. So first I've got to do my picking and then we will head into the kitchen and experiment with some of these recipes. On Pinterest, one of the most popular types of recipes with goat cheese and blackberries is something like a toast, like a goat cheese blackberry toast or little crostini appetizers. So I wanted to try something like that and I thought what would work instead of the bread is using some carnivore crisps. I'm gonna use the pork loin cause they're like really nice and melt in your mouth. So I think it'll work well with, you know, stuff on top. Also, they're kind of round, so I thought they'd work perfect as like a crostini replacement. So I'll just start by laying out my carnivore crisps on my pan. Now for the goat cheese, I'm gonna add maybe like three ounces to my bowl. That'll be plenty for the amount of carnivore crisps I have here. And I'm going to mix it up with um, just a little bit of olive oil. Goat cheese can be a little bit difficult to work with just because it doesn't quite crumble and it's not quite creamy, it's right in between. So adding just like a teaspoon of olive oil is gonna help it get to be a little bit more creamy and a little bit more manageable. I'm gonna add one more teaspoon. There we go. That's the consistency I was wanting. Now I'm just gonna carefully spread a dollop of this creamy goat cheese on each of my carnivore crisps. I'm just gonna add one or two berries to each of the carnivore crisps, depending on how big they are, because some of them are big, some of them are small. And I like to give a little bit of a smash to the berries, kind of spread them out, get that really nice purple color to come out. So pretty. Now for a finishing touch on all of these, I have some thinly sliced basil. The best way I found to slice it is to get a few leaves, roll them all up, and then slice that um, as thinly as you can. So I'm just gonna put a little sprinkle on each one of these. And then the last thing is just zest of lemon, just nicely sprinkled over the top. Look at how adorable and delicious these look. Super low carb, super high flavor, such a fun like summer party appetizer. The next idea I got off of Pinterest was like a blackberry goat cheese fat bomb dipped in dark chocolate. Looked so good. So I have a little over three ounces of goat cheese here, 100 grams. And I'm gonna add for my sweetener and my vanilla flavor, I'm gonna do RX sugar syrup, um, the vanilla flavored syrup. I'm just gonna do one tablespoon. If you don't have this, you could totally do like a maple syrup if you have a, like a keto maple syrup or just a tablespoon of any sweetener you like. You might just have to add a little bit of oil or water just to thin out the um, 
filling a little bit, although maybe you won't. Maybe if you just add a little bit of vanilla extract, it would do the same thing. Then just to give the filling a little bit of stabilization, I'm adding one scoop of collagen, just plain collagen powder. Uh, my scoop is two tablespoons. I'm gonna just give that a quick stir. Now I'm gonna add in like a heaping quarter cup of fresh blackberries. They should be ripe enough that they're gonna somewhat mush when I mix them in. I don't wanna completely mix them in. I kinda want some chunks of blackberries in there, but they will kinda mush and give that amazing deep purple blackberry color. I love it. Doesn't that look absolutely beautiful? I'm going to drop the filling by teaspoon, like heaping teaspoonfuls onto just some parchment paper. And then I'm going to transfer these to the freezer and let them freeze solid before I attempt to dip them in chocolate. Into the freezer these go. While the fat bombs are chilling, I'm gonna make my third and final recipe. I'm doing a blackberry goat cheese grilled sandwich. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my pan to about medium heat. For the bread, I'm using my best egg bread loaf recipe. I will put that recipe up in the cards for you guys. One thing about the egg white bread, if you are toasting it or grilling it, it cooks really fast, a lot faster than regular bread. And so you have to cook it at a lower temperature for a longer amount of time in order to let the fillings get warm. So I'm just gonna keep my temperature at medium or a little bit under medium. I'm gonna do a spread of goat cheese on each side. And this is the leftover goat cheese from the Crostini recipe, the appetizer recipe. So it has that little bit of olive oil whipped into it to make it nice and creamy. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put a layer of blackberries and give those a little smash. I'm gonna throw on the leftover basil from the previous recipe. That will give amazing flavor. Next, I'm gonna add on just some very thinly sliced red onions and some bacon crumbles. Now I'm gonna just put about a teaspoon of butter on each side of the sandwich so it can grill nicely. And my pan over here is preheated. I'm putting the butter side down and then I'm gonna butter the other side so that when I flip it over, that side will have butter as well. Gonna cover it so that the heat can distribute and warm up the fillings. Look at how beautiful this toasted up. The trick really is to keep the temperature low enough that you don't overcook the bread before the whole sandwich gets cooked through. For me, that usually is like two minutes on each side on medium low. Ooh, let's give this a slice. Yum. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. My blackberry goat cheese fat bombs are almost done in the freezer. I think it's gonna take about 45 minutes total, but I'm gonna go ahead and get my chocolate melted and ready for dipping. You can use any brand of chocolate chips that you like. I'm gonna be using the Good Sam dark chocolate chips. These are sweetened with allulose. I did a video a while back of three different kinds of allulose sweetened chocolate chips um, and my review on those. I'll put that video up in the cards if you're curious, but I do really like the Good Sam chocolate chips. And for this recipe, it doesn't matter, but I love that they're so cute and tiny, little mini chocolate chips. I'm just gonna put these in the microwave for about 30 second intervals and stir after each interval until they're completely smooth. They are frozen solid and ready to dip. You do wanna make sure they're completely frozen solid because you're throwing them into hot chocolate 
and um, they do get soft very fast. You should work pretty quickly with this. Um, if the filling starts to get warm and soft, you can just throw it back in the freezer for another minute or two. So I'm just dipping them in here one by one, and I am going to add a little sprinkle of smoked salt on top. If you don't have smoked salt, of course you could use regular salt or um, flaked salt would be really good. Just gonna do that for a little extra bite. These are ready to throw into the refrigerator or freezer. I'm just gonna let them sit in there until the chocolate is all the way hard. I prefer them not to be all the way frozen through, like for eating. It's a little bit too hard, kind of like chewing on an ice cube. Um, but right from the fridge, when they're nice and cool, but still soft, they're so good. So I'm just gonna put them in for just a few minutes because a lot of the chocolate is already hard because the filling was frozen. All right, these are ready to go. They are so delicious. You definitely wanna keep them in the refrigerator. The filling does get soft, um, but it's kind of like a cheesecake balm. Like when you take a bite of it, cause it's got the nice hard chocolate crust and then the really creamy cheesecake-ish filling in the middle. So, so good. Let me show you what the middle looks like. Oh my gosh, it is so delicious. They're very, very lightly sweet because I used a very dark chocolate on the outside. And then there's not a ton of sweetener in the middle and you get that nice sour kick from the blackberries. The flavors are just so good. And then of course the little bit of smoked salt on the top gives a tiny crunch and just like that hit of salty flavor. So, so good. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you again in the next video.